the James Oliver channel. The following film has been rated G. All ages admitted. Un petit quand tu me baguette, je pisse et je pète en montant chez Kate. James Edward Oglethorpe was born on December 22, 1696. I was born to Eleanor and Theophilus Oglethorpe in London, England. <laughs> Oglethorpe was admitted to Oxford University in 1714. Oglethorpe dropped out of Corpus Christi to enroll in a military academy in France, after which he became the aide to an Austrian prince and helped fight against the Turks. At 25, Oglethorpe was elected to Parliament. Then a friend of Oglethorpe's died in debtor's prison. His friend's death led Oglethorpe to lead a prison reform. As part of the prison reform, Oglethorpe became chairman of a parliamentary committee devoted to reforming prisons in England. Because Oglethorpe was in charge of the committee that would reform British prisons, he saw firsthand all the sufferings of British prisoners. Because of Oglethorpe's work in the British prisons, he became a British hero. <laughs> This is Jeremy, today here to talk to you about James Oglethorpe. He's a guy who's dead. James Oglethorpe met with another man who has a very long name. His name is John Lord Viscount Percival. And he met with Oglethorpe. He was on Oglethorpe's jail committee, which was in charge of reforming England's prisons. And he, he was with him for most of his other events. So they got together and they talked about what they wanted to do to help the poor who they had already helped, but they, they wanted to help further. Because sometimes when they, they reform the prisons, they put some of the poor who were in the prisons out. And even though it was better than being in the prison where they, they just die, they, they still couldn't get jobs, there was, there was a high unemployment rate right? and such. So they said, why don't we start a new colony in America and we can have the poor go there. And so they decided to propose this idea to King George II. <laughs> I granted a charter for the creation of Georgia in 1732. Thanks, King George II. And now for a man who has a tape recorder stuck up his nose. In the charter created by King George II, the three main reasons for the colonization of Georgia were charity, defense, and economics. Reasons of charity were to help relieve poverty and unemployment in Britain. It would provide former debitors with a new opportunity in America. Reasons of economics, it would increase trade and wealth in Britain. It would also help grow agricultural products that could not be grown in Britain. Reasons of defense, it would defend South Carolina from Native Americans, as well as the French and the Spanish, though it was not stated in the charter. Oglethorpe and 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 other men were named as trustees in charge of Georgia. The trustees then began to interview potential colonists and acquired many skilled workers. Excuse me, sir. Do you know how to chop down trees? I can chop trees. In November 1732, 114 men, women, and children set sail for Georgia. Two months later, they arrived in South Carolina. While the others rested in South Carolina's southernmost port, Port Royal, Oglethorpe and a band of South Carolina rangers went to look for a place to start the colony of Georgia. About 17 miles up the Savannah River, they found Yamacraw Bluff, overlooking the south bank of the river. Oglethorpe quickly became friends with the Yamaka chief, Tomo Chichi. On February 12, 1733, Oglethorpe returned to Georgia with colonists. With help from the militia and the African-American slaves from South Carolina, they quickly cleared out an area on Yamacraw Bluff. Oglethorpe planned a layout for the city of Savannah, which consisted of a few houses surrounding a recreational square. Oglethorpe allowed many persecuted religious minorities to settle in Georgia, including Jews, Lutherans, and Salzburgers, often breaking trustee policy. In 1737, on a visit to London, Oglethorpe convinced King George II to make him a colonel and to give him a brigade of British soldiers to bring back to Georgia. Oglethorpe had many skirmishes with the Spanish in Florida, most notably the Battle of Bloody Marsh, which he arrived at the end of, ironically, and was promoted to Brigadier General. In 1743, Oglethorpe returned to England to answer charges from the War Office, because one of the soldiers in Oglethorpe's brigade had accused him of misconduct. Oglethorpe also needed Parliament to refund him for his substantial personal funds for Georgia. In 1744, the War Office cleared the charges against Oglethorpe and the Parliament refunded his money.